Hey everyone, and welcome to Academy of Mine. Today we're gonna to learn how to create a custom course catalog in your LMS. Now, custom course catalogs are helpful if you're selling a lot of courses online and wanna organize your offerings to make it easy for customers to find what they're looking for. In addition to organizing your training courses, customizing your course catalog allows you to create different product pages for each style of course or type of training you're offering. For example, let's say your organization hosts a lot of corporate webinars, but you also sell on-demand courses, which customers can access 24 seven. You could create a separate page for each of these types of training. By default, with Academy of Mine, you will have one product listing page where customers can browse for courses and add them to their cart. Of course, once customers arrive on the product page, if you have product category set up, then customers can filter the page by the type of courses they're interested in. However, if you're offering many different types of courses, then putting all of your offerings on one single page may be inconvenient for some users to browse through. And here's a great example of why. Let's say you're offering training to three different industries, manufacturing, tech sales, and legal. Creating a separate course catalog page for each industry would make finding courses for your customers straightforward. All right, so let's get started. So on the front facing LMS site, this is what a default catalog would look like. You click on courses and all of your courses are displayed here. In this case, there's not too many, so it's pretty simple to separate them manually by categories on the page. And in order to have these courses for sale and displayed on the catalog, you have to create products so that customers can make purchases. If you wanna learn more about products, I'll put a link in the description with our documentation. Now let's actually get into creating a custom course catalog where this course menu has drop downs and individual product pages for the different types of training. So in the admin dashboard, go into pages and menus, pages, and click on the product listing page. Now I want this page to only display continuing education courses. And how I can do that is by clicking on the product list module and going down into only show products with the following categories box and entering the product category to which my continuing education courses are assigned. The product category in this case is just called continuing education. So I'm gonna type that in here and then save the module. A product category is just a way for instructors and admins in the LMS to categorize courses. And how we can create product categories is by going to e-commerce, product categories, and creating a new category. For today's example, we're gonna be using these categories, employee training, compliance training, continuing education, and certification based. However, just like the examples I gave before, you could create separate pages for industries, or you could create a page for on-demand courses and then have a separate page for webinars. Of course, now that you have product categories, you need to associate these with the correct products. To do so, go over to products and click on each product one by one and categorize them using this category tab. Once you've selected the correct category for the product, click update. So for this next product, I'm gonna categorize it under compliance training. Now that you've categorized all of your products, let's go back to the page builder and create a separate page for each one of these product categories to be displayed under. So the easiest way to create multiple product listings is to go to the original product listing and save this as a layout. Then when creating a new page, all you have to do is load the layout and make some small adjustments. Okay, so after you've created multiple product listing pages using the saved layout, make sure to rename each one to something you recognize so that when we create page menus for these pages in a second, you will know which one goes where. After you've renamed all of your product categories, let's actually go in and make the adjustments to only include the courses we want each page containing using product categories like before. And it's important to note that you can also define what's included on each page without product categories. For example, you could choose to exclude or include products using their product IDs, and you could also make a lot of adjustments on how you want these courses to be sorted and displayed. 
For example, you could have your course catalog by default be displayed as a list view or a card view. It's really up to you. Before we move on and finalize this custom course catalog, it's also important to understand that although the focus of most catalogs here is organizing your offerings, our page builder allows you to also create unique assets and content on each page if that's of interest. For example, right here I've added a text module where customers can click and download a free PDF. And on this page I'd like to add a YouTube video that I think is very helpful for customers interested in compliance training. Of course, you can also edit the design and really go more in depth on how these blocks are displayed on each page using this design tab right here. Using the page builder is a great way to enhance your course catalogs and really build out pages in the LMS to make them filled with great content that's unique to your brand. If you'd like to learn more about the page builder, I'll put a link on the screen. Okay, so we've created our different product listing pages and saved each page to include only the correct product categories. Now let's create some menus for each page. First, go into menus and under the navigation label, let's create our first menu titled Continuing Education. This menu is going to take users to the Continuing Education product page. Leave this predefined box checked and then click on the correct product listing you created for the Continuing Education page. Then click Save. After you've repeated that process multiple times and created a menu for each one of your product pages, it's time to organize these correctly. What I mean by organizing is right now all of these menus are displayed like so, but I want a drop down menu for all of these under courses. To do that, first come back to the page builder, then drag all of these menus under courses. Once that's done, click the tab right on each one of them. Now, as you can see, I have a fully functioning drop-down course menu, and this is a custom course catalog where users can click on whichever menu interests them and browse and add courses to the cart very easily. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you improve your organization's training and development initiatives, and we'll see you next week.